in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing printing pattern programs in C. In this video, I will talk about how to print this pattern, inverted full pyramid. In the previous video, I have discussed how to print full pyramid that was not inverted, right. So first of all, please check that, that video, then you will get it better, right. I will show you the logic on the first, on, the, on this whiteboard, we will discuss, we will write in that program here, then I will show the output on my laptop using VS Code Editor. So now, first of all, whenever you see the pattern, you have to analyze it and you have to divide it into like rows and columns, then you will get it better, right. So I am dividing it into rows and columns. See here we have 5 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one would be responsible to handle these rows. One is for, this is what leading space and this space is what trailing space. After the star, trailing space, before the star, leading space, right. So in the first row, there is no space, so zero space. Here we have one space, here we have two space, here we have three and here we have four space before the star, right. So now, first loop would be J, outer loop we generally take the variable, what? I, sorry, not J, I. That is I would be responsible, that loop would be responsible for these rows and J loop would be responsible for the columns. How many columns are there? Right. So basically three loops would be required. The outer loop would be in every pattern, the outer loop would be responsible for the number of lines or the number of rows here. Right. That is ith loop. One loop would be responsible to print these spaces and third loop would be responsible to print these stars. Right. So now how we will print these things? See, if I take i and space like how to analyze how to find out the condition right because in first in this row only one space before the star here we have two space here three space here four space so what should be the condition how many times in every row space should be printed how many times star should be printed what should be the condition right so now here see rather than taking i from 1 to 5 here i am taking i from 5 to 1 why i am saying this let me just clear out that thing also. It's not like that there is only one way to print this pattern. I'm just discussing this way only. There can be multiple ways also. Maybe loop, outer loop would be from 1 to 5 and then in the inner loop you can change the condition and you can print this pattern. But I am just changing the outer loop here from 5 to 1. Why so? See, for the first row I value is 5 and there is no space no leading space. For second, I value is 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. Space would be 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Right? Now, how to find out the relation, the condition to print the space? See, the same condition in the previous video also we have discussed number of rows minus i. If I write number of rows minus i for space. Here, total number of rows are 5. For the first line, 5 minus, i value is 5, not 1, it's 5, we are taking in decreasing order, 5 minus 5, 0, for second 5 minus 4, 1, for third 5 minus 3, 2, for fourth 5 minus 2, 3, 5 minus, uh, for this one 5 minus 1, that is 4, yes exactly we are getting it, so this should be the condition for printing the space, right, for printing the star, what should be the condition? First of all, let me write down this thing. If we are not taking like the, 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 that um, fixed value of i, fixed value of number of rows, like if you want the user should enter number of rows he or she want to print, then what you can do? You can just take a variable rows and you can ask from the user at the runtime using printf and scanf, right? I hope you know how to take input at runtime. I am taking the variable name rows. I am not writing here the complete program. I will discuss the complete program on my laptop. Right. Now, outer loop would be I should be till number of, from number of rows. See, I is from 5 to 1. But here I am not taking 5. Here I am taking a variable rows. So, I would be initialized with rows, whatever the value of rows, 5, 10, 7, 20. I should be greater than equal to till 1. Whenever i value becomes 0, stop it. So i should be greater than or equal to 1 and i minus minus here, not plus plus, right. So now, 
inner loop one loop would be responsible to print space and so our space would be space would be initialized with one we have already found out the condition for space for printing space space is less than equal to rows minus i right and here we don't have space so i'm writing here space plus plus and within this loop just print space right now one loop would be to print these stars now find out the condition to print star see in the first row we have nine stars then seven then five then three then one the condition you can only find out using the three or four variables you have i j total number of rows space this thing only so you have to do with these variables only some multiplication division minus plus anything you can do to find out the condition right so better to print better to you know first of all you know uh, write down this kind of table so that you can analyze what pattern is or what relation is there with these i space or j or uh, star see here if i do 5 into 2 10 but here we have star 9 here we have 2 into i that is 8 but here we have 7 so what you can do 2 into i minus 1 to print the stars for the first row i value is 5 that is 10 minus 1 9 okay for second 2 minus 4 minus uh, 2 into 4 8 minus 1 7 okay for third 2 into 3 6 minus 1 5 Okay, four minus one three, two minus one one. Yes, and we got the condition to print star two into i minus one, right? So this one j should be from one j less than equal to two into i minus one and j plus plus. And within this, simply print star. And in the outer loop, we have to print one more thing that is slash n, and that's it. Now let me dry run this. See, first of all, it will ask enter number of rows and suppose one variable is rows and I am entering total number of rows five. So now, first of all, I would be initialized with rows. So I is equal to five. Is five greater than equal to one? Yes, condition true. We will enter here. Now space would be initialized with one. Now one less than equal to rows minus i. Total number of rows five minus i is also five. Five minus five is zero. Is this condition true? One less than equal to zero? No, we will not enter into this loop. Exit from the loop, and one more loop is there. That that is j is equal to one. Means no space would be printed, and that's exactly we want, because in first line there is no space, zero space we have, right? J one, j less than equal to two into i minus one. Ten minus one that is nine, because i value is five. Yes, condition true. We will enter here, and star would be printed. Right now again j plus plus that is two, two less than equal to nine. Yes means again star would be printed. So how many times this loop would be uh, run? Nine times. When j value becomes ten, then it becomes false. So means nine star would be printed here. Now when j value becomes finally ten, condition not true. Exit from the loop and slash n. Now cursor would be next line. Now i minus minus. Now i becomes four. Is four greater than equal to one? Yes. Condition true. We will enter into this loop. Space, space would be again initialized with one. Now one less than equal to. Now see rows minus one. Total number of rows five minus sorry i rows minus i five minus i value is four. That is five minus four. That is one. Now condition true. Now we will enter into here into this and space would be printed one space below this first star, right? Space plus plus that is two. Two less than equal to one. Condition true? No. Now we will not enter here. Means no space would be printed, and that's exactly we want only one space in second line. Now out from this loop, and now j would be again initialized with one. Now one less than equal to see two into i minus one. Now i value is four. Two into four eight minus one that is seven. Is this condition true? Yes. We will enter here, and star would be printed. So how many times this loop would be executed? Seven times. Whenever j value becomes eight, then it is going to stop. So now means seven star would be printed here, and that's exactly we want seven star, right? When i value be j value becomes eight, exit from the loop and slash n means next line. Now i minus minus i becomes three. Now I hope you can you got it. You can dry run by yourself.
right now let me show you the output of this into my laptop on my laptop but now let me create one more file that is pattern9.c right and we have already discussed in the previous video how to print the pyramid this is just the inverted pyramid so we don't have to you know change much so i'm just copying the previous code here if you haven't watched my previous video please check it out first then come to this video right so i'm just copying the previous code here the only uh, difference here is what just have to change the this one uh, the that outer loop for the number of lines i would be initialized with rows it should be in decreasing order right and i should be greater than equal to 1 here i minus minus right space loop would be same the condition would be rows minus i and for the printing the star we have same condition that is 2 into i minus 1 right now just let me just run this now say so it is asking enter number of rows let me enter 5 and see the pattern now let me just run this for 10 number of rows 10 and see this is inverted full pyramid right so i hope you got how to print uh, this pattern so i hope you got how to print this pattern now i'll see you in the next video with a new pattern till then bye bye take care